Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I will be going over the water turbine, one of the simplest sources of renewable power offered by Electrical Edge Mod. And this setup uses 18 turbines in total. And the power output that you get in terms of HPM energy is just over 1000 Hg per second. Now, just like my every other Electrical Edge build, this is a modular setup, so you can stack it up according to your need. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started with the actual setup, here are some of the configuration settings that you need to change. The most important one is the water turbine power factor should be set to 5 so that the turbine can produce more power than its default value which is very less, only 30 watts. Next you can change the multiplication factor for the cable to 4 so that your cables can carry more power without exploding or breaking. And finally the watts to EU ratio should be set to 0.5 instead of 0.33. Now that we have changed the configuration settings, we can start working on the turbine itself. So looking at the description, the turbine can now produce 150 Watt instead of the normal 30 Watts. And the voltage at which this power will be transferred is going to be 50 Watts. The turbine can be placed directly on the ground. You will need at least one block of cap below it like this for the blades to fit. But the water needs to flow in order for the turbine to spin. And for that you need at least three blocks of gap like this and then once you place the turbine in flowing water it will start spinning and generating power now it has no positive or negative terminal only a single terminal from which you can get the power out like this so i'm going to use the low voltage cable which supports the 50 volts and here is a simple setup for measuring the amount of power that we are producing and finally you can take a battery and once the grounding cable is attached our turbine will now produce 123 watts. So the turbine is not going to produce exactly 150 watts like it is rated and the voltage is going to be higher than the rated voltage. So the voltage is going to be around 52, 53 volts and the power will be less than 150. Now a single source of water will flow for 8 blocks. Therefore a single source can support 3 turbines in total. And all of these 3 turbines will operate at the maximum capacity. So all 3 of them individually will produce 123 watts. So now let's make a row of 9 like this and then in front leaving a one block gap make another row of 9. Place source block of water and now we are going to have total 18 turbines. So start placing turbines like this. So we have 6 times 3 which is going to be 18 in total. There we go. Now that we have placed the turbines, connect all of them on the back side with low voltage cable. And once that connection is done, we now want to take this voltage and transform it. So place down a DC DC converter or basically a transformer. And this transformer ratio is going to be 1 is to 4 because we want to take 50 volts and convert it into 200 volts. So on one side we have a single copper cable and on the next other side we have four copper cables. And with this way voltage will get transformed into 200 volts. Next to measure the amount of power and to display it I'm going to place down an electrical probe and connect it to the DC DC converter with a medium voltage cable. And in front of the electrical probe we can place down our energy exporter. Now we have 123 watts being produced by a single turbine times 9 which is 1100 watts basically. And the value for resistance can be calculated using V squared over P cause power is equals to V squared over R. So the value of resistance turns out to be 36 or 37. Now I am going to set the value a little bit more than that so 39. And yeah basically set the value of resistance in both the exporters for 39 as we want to pull roughly 1.1 kilowatt on each side. Now connect the cable with the RF to HE converters. And here as you can see we are producing over 1000 HE per second from this entire system. Now this power level will remain constant. It will increase if it rains but if it doesn't rain then yeah this power will remain constant. If you want to display the amount of power being transferred on each side then from the electrical probe that we placed before you can set it to measure power and also set the screen to measuring power basically set the units to 1200 watt and now you can see that yeah we are measuring the 
power that we are producing which is 1.08 kilowatt so that was one way of making this system now for another way what you can do is basically have the same setup as we had before but now we are going to introduce redstone in order to control the water that's flowing in our system so place down some sticky pistons with blocks on top and introduce any form of wireless redstone here i am going to use the redstone receiver torch from nuclear tech mod and set it to a frequency of your choice i am going to set it to one because basically if you stop the flow of water then all of the turbines will stop so in this way you can control the turbines and the power produced by them place three source block of water six turbines like this and now also have a transmitter torch we place the receiver torch in order to control that torch we also have a transmitter which is set to the same frequency of one and now if you flick the lever on then all of the blocks will extend and the water flow will stop and this means that all of the turbines will stop spinning now the setup will be same as before connect all of the three turbines this time not nine but three on the back side like this and now in order to calculate the resistance for these we have 123 watts times 3 which is 369 watt which is being pulled at 200 volts so 200 squared divided by 369 and the value of resistance turns out to 109 so we place a dc dc converter with the same conversion ratio 1 is to 4 and here we set the resistance to 109 and finally have rf 2 he converters all of them and yeah if you stack this setup three times then you will have 18 turbines like we had before but instead of connecting all of them we have connected them in pair of three instead of nine connect all of the rf 2 he blocks to a single power source or single power storage source and once water starts flowing then the power levels will start rising so this setup will give you slightly more power than the one that we made previously as you can see power levels will slowly go up and it will stabilize at around 1.1 he oh sorry 1.1 thousand he per second so yeah slightly more power than before but both of these systems work so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you have any idea for the videos please let me know in the comment section below peace out Invincible.